Greetings Libra, hey welcome to your August reading with me. Thank you for joining me guys from wherever you are listening around the world. So what have we got to say about 2020? I think it goes in the blah kind of yuck year. Look it's been a really difficult year for so many people in terms of this global and collective energy that has uh, transmuted across the planet. I think a lot of people, especially astrologers and, and anyone who had knowledge of the movement of the planets that was taking place this year, those people had an idea of, of the intensity of the energies that were coming. But I guess for a lot of other people we've been a bit blindsided perhaps by what is exactly going on. So we've had some of the really big planetary conjunctions and lineups and eclipses they've been and gone so people might be going hurrah you know we've moved through this and we're into August we're on the downhill slope of 2020 not that I ever wish to you know rush years away I rather kind of make time go a bit slower if I could but um, I think most people want to see 2020 move into the shadows and sort of embrace the energies of 2021 as we come closer to that however from August on to the end of this year and even into the beginning of next year we actually transmute ourselves into another set of vibrational frequencies that the planets are aligning us with and these ones unfortunately are not really a lot better than what we've been through they may be different perspectives but they're still going to be just as trying so I think making sure that we're balanced that we're nurturing ourselves that we're tolerant, that we just allow change to happen and go with the flow would be some of the best advice that we can give ourselves and our people around us that we want to support as well. So anyhow, let's start your reading for August. This is for Libra. This is the John Holland Psychic Tarot deck, one of my favourites. It deals with the chakra energy points of the body as well, which is sort of our spiritual perspectives um, it does take the court cards out so there are no court cards in this tarot deck but we have court cards in here so if there are any to come out they will in this deck so your first one out is stand your ground there's something that you guys need to be um, firm about you know this is a wands card so it could be talking about career or things that you are creative with in your life. It could also be talking about fire sign energy people. I also look at that card and I think very much how it appears to be an ecliptical planet that that person is standing their ground on. So this could be referring to energies that have taken us back in time oops, to the eclipse in June and July and it might be that this ecliptical energy is now awakening around you and there's something that you are feeling you know like don't push me over mate I'm not going to take your bullying uh, and it could be in your work sector or your creative field sector as well so yeah something here about be strong or regain strength or maybe you feel as if you're regaining strength or you're determined about something let's see a little bit more information here for Libra oh goodness that was a lot I suppose we can take them. The Five of Pentacles, not everyone's favourite card. The Universe, number 21, which is of course the World card. It doesn't matter if they're upside down in terms of this deck. Um, the Power, Rest and Rejuvenate, and another Eight, Accelerated Motion. So this is the Eight of Wands. So we have two Eights two major arcanas, the five of pentacles and the rest and rejuvenate. These three feel as though they go together as if there's some communication going on here. Like when it says stand your ground it could even be over your health. If you've had health issues that have been taking a toll on you and these could be physical health issues or they could be mental health issues that could have been bothering you one way or another. They could even be associated with your creative side or even to do with work issues. But it feels as though it could be draining you or you've been you know, just emotionally worried about it perhaps. Also this, this card here, the Four of Swords, 
can talk about the need to take time out and actually have a break and rest up. And this could be indicative of things like the flu or um, body aches and pains or even a minor operation that could be uh, already organized or booked in or it could be unexpected and it might even have to do with something like the hands or the feet or the ankles so it's just saying to you in this bunch here look after yourself nurture yourself be a little bit um, both contemplative and meditative but firm this card also talks sometimes about some financial hardship or feeling as though you need a bit more money but you can't access it at this point in time. It can also mean there can be a bit of a downturn. If you were expecting payments from someone, they may not come in. Um, you may have had your wages cut somehow or you may be living on a subsidiary from the government at the moment and maybe that stops soon. All of these possibilities seem to be jumping up out of these cards. So I think this month of August coming for you, you should nurture yourself and really spend time with nature and grounding yourself in particular. Because this is a pentacles card, which is about grounding and earth energy. This guy is very firmly grounded in some solid energy, but he's also spending time to me with it's like either the sun or eclipses or planetary energy this one here he's meditating in peace and quiet and calm and out with nature so all of the messages within these cards are going to be relevant for you in august i think peace nurturing yourself re-energizing yourself grounding yourself with nature sorting out your financial thoughts or conundrums or directions or where you're headed um, some of you may have a minor surgery booked in and it could be for a beneficial reason so not necessarily a bad health reason but like a, a facelift or a tuck and tidy or something along those lines as well could be on the um, agenda for some of you so we'll put those ones down and then we'll come down to more to this which is more of a powerhouse part of the reading shall we say these two in particular mighty strong big cosmic cards you know we see this power and well I guess I'm going to pick this up now that's power as well so these two are emulating and giving you and bringing the vibration of power into the reading so again, some of you may have felt you lost power or you need to regain power or stand your ground or find more power. I'm also often when I see this card, I think of the Leo energy because of the lion. So this could involve a fire sign energy, which I think we mentioned before, um, or a person like that in your life or decisions or or situations that are arising whether or not it's work or it's uh, personal I'm not sure the power card often means you know because this is the strength card it often means that you're regaining strength after having lost it for some reason and again that could be coming back to having felt fragile or tired or a bit unbalanced whether it's emotionally or physically so the power is there to return and it's about mental power in particular. So regaining a mental focus or a mental strength that comes in. It's a wonderful card to get. It's also about being the strong person within a relationship and knowing that you have the ability and the goods to stand your ground and not be pushed over by anyone or anything. We come to the world next, which is really about this, um, the star chakra above the crown chakra. And it's about knowledge that comes into us from the cosmic or celestial realm. Now that's a great depiction that this card or this face is up in the cosmos, the swirling clouds. And what do we have here? This cosmic energy coming in again and it says accelerated motion. 
So this is the Eight of Wands and you had the Seven of Wands down here. So there's something about the cosmos, the stars, maybe it's the planetary alignments that are currently going on. Uh, maybe it's that you are tapping into collective conscious energies or celestial messages that come to you that create or provide you with some sort of power pack or power energy or re-energizing your body. It could be quite quick. Some of you may even travel unexpectedly and that could be very quick. You may find there are new people coming into your life uh, unexpectedly and for some of you this could be new romantic partners or business partners or people that you will be seeing in a creative sector whether it's something you're passionate about or something you are building or making or producing. The the eights of course are a magical number. This is the number of never-ending circle of life. So it's also the karmic number of past lives, returning energies. So there could be something karmic fated in here for you. And when that happens, it's like the universe <laughs> is doing it, not us. So we're on this journey where we are propelled into some sort of motion or emotion that is not preventable or stoppable at our end. But I feel as though you go through something here that seems a bit traumatic or a bit flattening and you've got to kind of re-energize yourself at many different levels but you're given this here in this other package it's like you've got two things going on at once or two um, that are adding into the mix like when you make a cake you've got the butter and the sugar and the eggs and the flour and you mix that all up and bingo you get this beautiful cake out of it so something positive is behind whatever it is that might be making you feel a bit glitchy that's going on. Let's see what's in here for Libra. Oh. The King of Cups, that's a water sign, energy, perhaps there's a, that person around you. They're very supportive, um, they're great listeners if you want to talk. They can keep secrets. Uh, they, this could be a new potential partner or it could be someone that you already trust quite dearly or deeply or someone that is there to help support you. It could be like a, a counsellor or it could be a support person one way or another, a potential new employment person. The Eight of Cups walking away from something. We have the ecliptical moon there again. So changing direction and leaving something behind that was unbalanced. Sometimes this does refer to relationships nice the ace of rods the ace of wands new creative ideas opportunities in our often work sector or our creative realm in life it is coming in it's not yet fully formulated death and temperance the three of hearts sorry the three of swords and the page of swords Two big major arcanas, death is all about new beginnings, we see this ecliptical sun or whatever it is here again playing a role. Temperance is bringing balance into the situation, it can also be angelic energies or messages that are coming into you, it, you might receive insights through the mind's eye. It is also about looking after and nourishing your body, detoxifying, spending time outdoors, in nature, grounded again, which that message had come through very much at the very beginning. Some of you may need to detox your body and water is a great way to do that. It's a great healer as well. Uh, the death of something old, it could be an old cycle of health that you are moving through. We do see the three of swords, which can mean a sadness around the heart so sometimes relationships that break up at this point in time and that five of pentacles that was one of the first cards out can also insinuate that um, it could be heart physical heart pain some of you may need a heart health checkup as well there could have been three people involved if this is an emotional heart pain in um, some sort of liaison or romance or uh, episode that's been going on. The Page of Swords comes in as quick 
new energy and not dissimilar to this, you know, accelerated quick motion, ideas, thoughts, concepts, documents, contracts, sometimes for signing, sometimes to do with a job application or um, legal documentation as well. So a lot going on there, Libra. There definitely is more than one story. I think there's more than one thing um, on your mind in August. It could be that that several things combine together to formulate one big event one way or an another. So if any of you are feeling emotional sensitivity, just honour and respect your deep sensitivity as it's a gift to us all. I think a lot of people are very sensitive and feeling a bit drained this year and stressed. The thing is not to fight it, not to try and hide from it because these feelings are very real and they exist and they're part of us. So it's to just acknowledge them and accept them as being what they are and see what lessons can be learnt from them. Um, the more we fight or hide from emotions or situations that are around us, the less we learn and the more trauma we keep in our cellular body because we lock it away somewhere but it causes damage somewhere else. These two have come out to say there's a lot of clairvoyant activity going on in the background for you. Um, this is the third eye where we receive messages from the celestial realm but it also says it's safe for you to see the energy of love in all its forms such as angels, auras and visions. Uh, this one here is you are profoundly clairvoyant so two of them about seeing and hearing messages that could really benefit you or support you. Trust what you see in your mind's eye, which is the third eye, as well as with your physical sight, for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching and guidance. So take whatever message is jumping out within this reading. For some of you it could be a message about becoming spiritual teachers, healers, or guidance people or mentors yourself. For some of you, it could be that you are uh, like you go to a reading and you receive messages or information that will help you make decisions as you move forward. So some of you may see a, a counselor or a medium or a psychic and they give you insights or awareness or support or answers. Others of you are going to receive amazing spectrum of colors, uh, lights flickering, uh, shadows moving, maybe electromagnetic disturbances, ideas and thoughts that come in through the third eye and these could be amazing ideas that transform your life or give you impetus for new systems that you will put in place as the year moves on and into 2021. So a great way to finish your reading, Libra. Thank you for subbing the channel and for pushing the notification button. Just check that that's still in operation because some people have said that they're no longer um, able to do that or that it's been automatically unsubscribed. And check your moon and rising signs as well because there have been some great readings in all of the signs. So I wish you all much joy and success and accelerated motion towards your dreams as you step into August of 2020. Be safe, be happy, be kind to each other. Namaste.